be fashion t-shirts. I could become a serious lover of t-shirts. I really could. There are going to be two t-shirt hacks. Um, this is going to be the main one because I just love the information on there and also a little bit of glitz that's there, a bit of sequin kind of glitter situation that's happening there. And the black is going to be, because obviously you've seen the thumbnail, <laughs> it's going to be this t-shirt, but it's slightly smaller than this one across the width and also a little bit across the length as well. It's slightly small and a bit fitted. So let's get started and let me show you how these cute t-shirts are going to look. So lie your t-shirt flat in this manner because we're going to be cutting it in half, more or less. It really depends on your t-shirt. I'm going to cut mine just a little bit away from the center in which these letters actually fall because I want to make sure that I've got these words that come through on the final project. So I'm going to cut somewhere along there. In order to aid me, what I'm going to do is use my pattern drafting ruler. I'm just going to score with my scissors the line so to make sure that I am cutting straight. You can use a marker, but do bear in mind that markers can stain your fabric. So I'm just going to, you won't be able to see this. You won't be able to, I will though. Just about, it'd be a very faint line. Oh yeah, I can just about see that. These are little things that you do. It's not necessarily a lazy trick. But, you know, if you don't want to stain your fabric, it's all about getting the result that you want in the end. Too hot. So I've got more to this side than I have that side. So that's going to be for the second t-shirt. So I'm just going to focus on this one. So for the black, and because this is not as loose fitting as this one, you have to bear that in mind. I'm going to put a couple of pins in here, just to keep the front and the back together. Okay, there we go. Nice and flat. This is my own t-shirt that I've had for a while. I just want to revamp, give it a new lease of life. So because I cut quite a bit off, I've added more to that side, I'm going to go with the centre of this shirt, this one. And then cut. Yep, there we go. Happy with that. And all I need to do now is cut. And then we need to do that next is to pin this on top. So I'm going to take, I'm taking mine to my sewing machine and just going to do a straight stitch straight down and then do the same on this side. So I'll put some pins in on this side as well. You know I'm a great advocate for pinning and basting. In this case I'm not going to baste but if you want to that's fine. If you feel a lot more comfortable basting then please do so. 
I'll leave links to sewing techniques in the description and do keep watching until the end because I'll give you some tips and advice as well the original shirt but it works it's nice like, I'm, like, look, I'm not really a t-shirt wearer I only have literally about a handful of t-shirts but if I could refashion t-shirts I could become a serious lover of t-shirts I really could oh the glitter as well glitter sequiny it's Thing that's going on here the letter the lettering the block of black oh yeah and then why didn't do this earlier but i have worn this shirt quite this t-shirt quite a lot that's nice right okay so let's go and work on the second t-shirt and see what that is going to look like i just want to change it up just a little bit just to give it a, diff a little bit of difference from this one um, and maybe just adding that little difference can define the two t-shirts from one another because they're going to more or less look identical aren't they? Okay, let's get on with the second one. I'm working on the second t-shirt and I want this to be a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the hem of the white one and put it into this section here so it's coming into the black i just think that'd be really nice i'm not going to do the same with the black to the bottom half even though that's possible um i just want to make sure that i'm using everything off the t-shirt and nothing is left over no scraps um but you know there are options that you can use so let's see how much let's see I'm going to go for, let's see, I'm just going to guess this, uh, about that much should be fine. Yay! That looks cute just like that, doesn't it? So many options! So this is what I'm talking about, so you can see. I'm going to have some of that white coming into the black. Just to give it an added dimension. I even turn it that way as well so you can even see the overlock if you wanted to and as you can see the t-shirt is not very level at the hemline but that's fine you have to work with what you've got so should I have it that way yeah all of this down the front I'm going to put this at the back I'm going to cut this in half yes 
Yeah, done it. There we go. I'm happy with that. That's fine. This is the reason why I love designing. All these ideas that just keeps coming into my head as I'm doing a project. Sometimes it can be quite annoying. <laughs> it really can. It really can be quite annoying. But I wouldn't give up my creative brain for anything. Okay. So we're going to have that and that will be sewn all the way down. Um, should I start at the bottom with this one or should I? Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. I'm liking that. That is nice. That is nice. Okay, should I now the back? Should I just put it at the top or the bottom? I'm gonna go for the top. Hello me fascinistas, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel. I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas to refashion clothing. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Let's get back to the video. Okay, the second one. It's a, it's a closer fit. Um, the wording's... Yeah, it's there. <laughs> I do like this actually. I do like the fact that it's adding another dimension onto the black so the black isn't as solid. And let's see the back as well. There's going to be, yes, a little bit of hand sewing. Yeah, just to tack it to keep it in place. Play, yeah, play around. Oh, that's nice. Play around with this tab section so it may. It may actually go like that. Well, you never know, or even like that. Right, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I will be styling these two shirts, and if you are not following me on Instagram, then I advise you to do that because I post on Instagram on a daily basis of what I'm actually wearing. So if you can't wait until Friday, in which I do my outfits of the week, where you see me styling any of my projects that I've done during the week, which is on a Wednesday, then yeah. And also shorts as well, YouTube shorts. So YouTube shorts or Instagram, you can follow me and see how I actually style this. But yeah, the fact you can play around with this is, is, is nice. You have to find out what I decide to do. Okay, I am happy. I am really happy with the results. Uh, I just need to decide what I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to leave it like that, even though it looks nice. Maybe I should. I don't know, you're going to have to watch my um, outfits of the day or wait until Friday when I do my weekly outfits. And this one is just as gorgeous. So tips and advice, there is going to be some hand sewing, but it's your choice so it doesn't necessarily have to be, but let me just turn this to the wrong side so I can show you. See, th th this to me, <laughs> it, 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 uh, I, I need it to lie flat and it's, it's a personal thing, so um, it's more than likely I'm going to just do a couple of slip stitches on either side so that it lies flat to the front and also the back and also on this shirt as well. But do you have to do it? No you don't. Does it feel uncomfortable? No, not necessarily. Um, this neck is wider than this one a little bit, but I do like how that is cradling my neck. That's really nice. And you will find that this shoulder is a little bit shorter, but that's to be expected when you are refashioning. If you're finding that it's not lying the way you want it to, don't worry because it more or less was in that state when you first began the project. Um, so as long as when you're sewing, you're not distorting the fabric too much, that's the next thing I want to talk about. So if you're finding that one shirt is longer than the other, don't stretch it. Just, you, you either have to cut in order if you want it to be the same length 
or if one want to be slightly longer than the other then that's fine it really is fine um just remember that you can machine sew you can overlock this could have been an overlocked edge um i prefer to i don't know why i prefer to um to machine sew knit more than just overlock i think it's basically because overlocking wasn't really a thing when i started sewing i'll put it down to that um and my mother teaching me all these techniques of how to use a sewing machine so yeah so do bear in mind that if you are going to go for graphics do think about that in your planning and you know that how i did because i wanted to make sure like all those letters there's there's even line space in between all those letters the, these three letters here so you may find that you're not using the center of the t-shirt that's fine i've just demonstrated that it's okay one t-shirt or bigger than the other um as long as it's not too small to begin with you should be able to get into both t-shirts and i think that's it so if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and please do share don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of when i upload my videos and if you want to comment please comment down below um i don't think is there any yeah probably basting so i'll put a link to the basting stitch if you're a person who prefers to base in the description so please do check that out and i will see you next time Thank you for watching.